Don't be shy, cause I, the life won't bring you down too far. This is Coogan Cassius for IFL TV Association with MTK Global. We're at Fight Camp, week four, White Pavetkin. It's all fucking going off. No, it ain't going off, bro. I'm just in my Wanna Bengo chilling. What's it called? I want a bang here. I mean, what, what, what a Bengo? I want. A Winnie to, Bago. I want to bang her, sounds better. How have you found the last couple of those? They've been alright, bro. It's like, obviously. His mother had a, I just come from a, a house to this and it obviously kitchen surface is small. I got some plates everywhere, this everywhere, that everywhere. So you know, but it's all right, but it is what it is. You know, I'm, I'm, you know, it's what it is. It's, it's all right. Better for me here. Can diet a bit better. Maintain my weight. Eat what I need to eat. As you can see, you were just eating a minute ago. You know, instead of being out there with temptation, doing this and eating this and. Obviously, sitting next to Pavetkin and his five, six Russian guys eating breakfast. I don't trust them guys, man. They'll sprinkle something on your food or something, you know what I mean? Uh, uh, they like to play games. I don't trust them. I just don't trust them. I probably to be out there by myself, secluded. I don't want to be in their company, or, like sitting, you know, I might just. And it was weird. Yesterday I was training, there was a stay watching. I was thinking, why are these guys for fucking real? Do you want me to sit Coogan and them? And who got there? Screw the light bulb. Hit, hit, hit. Color, color, hello, hello. Just, just. Yeah, that's just gonna give everyone mixed messages. So I'll just leave that maybe. Okay. Maybe. Um, did it feel a bit of a relief to come back to England, or not? Because you've been in Portugal for like five months. It did, man. But it's cold, though, man. I came here and I took my shirt off. I walked outside and I was like, whoa! <laughs> I had to run back in and put my hoodie on. You know, it just Portugal is nice. It's warm. It's safe there. Dog off, like you know, it was safe, one of the safest places to be in the real day and stuff like that. So it was nice. It was nice. It was nice. It was relaxed. It was chilled out there. I was able to train at a private setup. So it's relief, but it was good to be out there training and stuff and staying focused out there. You um you were out there for a ridiculously long time. That's what she said. Just move the boots. It's alright. These are my fight boots on Saturday. You let him. Some of that. Very nice. Mm. Who done that? Box it, but from this company. Um. If you would like this pair, well you can't. Yeah. But they're very nice. <clears throat> You got the Italian flag on them? Yeah, yeah, I'm trying to what the company's called. Virtuous. Virtuous Italy. Nice, very nice. Um, yeah, you was there, I mean, it's a ridiculously long time. It's a, I was just out there, obviously, you know, with the lockdown and stuff, you know, obviously. It's just good to be somewhere different, you know what I mean, obviously. It doesn't make anything better, but it's safer and it's hot. And I had a private setup as well, obviously, where, where, where I could obviously. Um, train and focus on losing weight get myself into shape you know obviously lost i was like almost 280 pounds last time out you know let's see i'm hoping i am 250 tomorrow so i mean when is weighing friday what day is today i didn't wednesday. know lost in time okay. wednesday i'm hoping i come in 250 248 you know something like that so you know and this is the best shape you've been in i don't know i've been in some decent shape before well, let's see. Yeah. Um, I don't know, it seems to be I have the same conversation with you every time you fought recently. I know. Why? 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 Because, you know what? Let's be honest. You know me a long time. You know me at serious level as an amateur, as a pro. 28 fights, professional, 7 fight amateur. So I'm still very inexperienced, you know, obviously. It's very risky, it's very dangerous. I'm just still learning. And still evolving, still working, and things, still gaining more and more experience. You know what I mean? So I'm just trying to um, just get some experience, get more experience under my crown. So when I do eventually get to the heavyweight championship of the world, I'm ready and as prepared as I can. I'm prepared as I can be. 
Where does Povetkin rank amongst your previous opponents? He's higher ranked than me in the world. <laughs> you know, in box work, he's higher ranked than me. So that goes to show where he is, you know what I mean? And obviously, I'm one of the highest ranked heavyweights in the world at the minute. He's higher ranked than me. But compared to your other previous opponents? Probably my most riskiest, dangerous fight, to be honest. You know, it's like Rebus all over again. But someone who's more technical and someone who's been consistently at the top of his game for 15 years and who's been fighting top level and beating top level guys for 15 years. A very experienced Olympic gold medalist, top amateur, um, former WBA world champion, only lost to Klitschko, 10 year reigning world champion, Joshua, reigning un um, unified world champion. You come for on Saturday, Eddie Hearn doesn't really want you fighting again before you're mandatory. I want to fight again. I'd like to fight in December. But you want to still fight in December? Mm. But why would you do even that when you know that something will be resolved in hopefully within the next... I don't know if Fury and Wilder is doing They fight December. If say Fury get injured uh, or something, a Wilder beats him, that might delay the fight a bit. Hopefully not, but... If someone's got a, 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 um, an accidental injury, then there's nothing you can do. Someone break their hand or whatever, you know what I mean? So, you know, I like the fight this time. Are you confident while the fury happens? I don't think it's going to happen, but let's see. Yeah. I never thought their first fight was going to happen, to be honest. I mean, Tyson Fury's still saying that he wants to fight in December. I think Frank Warren said the same thing. They still want Fury out, regardless of what happens with Wilder, but... Yeah, but I don't think that's a good idea. As you can see, he fought out a while and got injured last time. I don't think it's a good idea. But let's see, I, I don't care. They're going to fight me by Feb. So let's see, but I think Fury might vacate. What do you think? You think he'll fight me or you think he'll vacate? I don't know what will happen. Um, just, I think, just, just think. Well, the, the point of the, the franchise belt isn't really going to come into play according to anything. Yeah, Hearn. there's no franchise. In the franchise. So we, if you, we eliminated it. But if he vacates, if he vacates, you would be elevated to full champion. Is that the way that mm -hmm. would work? But, I don't but want you that don't one. want that. I was going to say. That's the coward way out. Yeah. Well, what do you think? You think you'll fight me? I don't vacate. I don't see a fight between you and Tyson Fury happening next. Why? I just don't see it happening. I right? just don't see it happening. Uh, you're quite close to both of us, so you probably. Why shouldn't you fight me now? I'd love to see the fight. I'm just saying I don't yeah, think yeah. it will happen. I want to fight the best. I hope I'm wrong because I would like to see it. But yeah, you should fight me. He said he's gonna fight me. He said I'm easy work. He says I'm a plugger. Blah blah blah. So why why, why shouldn't you fight me? Tell me. You, know, you should fight me. He's he, he he's a coward and should always be known as a gypsy coward if you ran away from me. If. You're in a situation where you are elevated to full champion, then the fight that really then makes sense for you is the AJ fight. And Eddie mm. Hearn's already said that he has no problem making that if that situation mm. was to play out like that. Mm. He is the next logical fight, but I think Fury should to fight Joshua still, I think. You think he should? But he's saying no, no, I'm not saying he should. I think that's what he would try to do. Who else is he gonna fight? If he vacates, he can't can't fight Joshua, and he's gonna fight me. What's he gonna fight? See, I don't see him vacating, but also don't see the fight with you happening at the so same time. So what's gonna happen? Then? I don't know. But I just both yeah, but those situations. Happen? You can't go franchise. They tried that. We shut that down. We shut down the franchise. What's gonna happen? I have no What's going to happen? What, what's he going to do? You have to fight me and vacate. Hopefully you fight me. I don't want him to vacate. But let's see. Joshua's going to be there this weekend. I'm happy Working for, for Sky. Good. It's about time he put some money in my pocket. Where have all these comments come from about... What? If you see each other and all this. Because he's just talking shit. Joshua always talks shit, man. Joshua, he's been doing it for years. He just talks shit the whole time. He said, 
One minute is a good boy, the next minute is a bad boy. One minute is a good boy, the next minute is a bad boy. Like, you just talk shit the whole time. Like, I was cool with the cat. I was like, oh, you know what, he got beat up by the little fat guy. But I was cool with him. I was cool with him. I was like, oh, yeah, blah, blah, blah. Good luck, get the belt back. Let's have a, pro a fight in England, blah, blah, blah. Then he just started talking shit out of nowhere. Randomly, he just started talking shit. So I was like, you know, I'm sick of this shit. He's saying, oh, he's going to come to the fight. He's going to get in the ring and do this and do that. <laughs> he thinks it's a game. He thinks it's WWE. You know, I don't play that. If you step to me, I'm not having it. Straight. Step to me, I'm not having it. If he steps to me, I'm not having it. I'm not going to do what he do. Step to me, I'm going to push him and he almost fell off the stage. Off the stage. Not me. Oh, oh, swing. If you step in my personal space, I'll start swinging. Straight. But I think the way it's set out, he's not really going to be able to go into the ring anyway, is he? Oh, he said he said he's going to step to me and do this and do that. That's what he said, not me. I didn't say that. That's what he said. So if you want to step to me, then cool. Step to me. I, I, I never said, oh, yeah, he's the one that said it. So if you want to step to me, step to me and we'll see what happens, innit? But I got business to take care of. I need to focus on what I need to focus on. That is the perfect and dangerous guy tough guy very skilled guy as well very dangerous fight for me as well so so it, it is what it'll be what it is the WBC diamond belt is on the line yeah. that was a yarn and a year yeah at the same time WBC yeah diamond belt on there mm -hmm. which is a nice pretty belt I know I need more belt for collection what does it do for your career it's another trinket. It's a nice belt. It's a yeah. It's a belt to give to my kids. It's got billing. But you're now what? Twenty thousand days as number one. Yeah. It, I can't believe they had an anniversary post for you the other day. Did they? Thousand days. It was everywhere. Dillian White. Thousand days as number one in, at the WBC. It was almost like yeah, an anniversary. Thousand days! Oh, man, that's almost three years. It's a long time. Been a but but I'm, not the only, I'm not the first every week to, to go through this, and I doubt I'll be the last. You know, there's others before me, and I doubt I'll be the last, you know. But none of them have, none of them ever had to wait this long. Not even Sunday this day, they had to wait this long. But are you even confident February comes round and the even J Johnson February. had to wait this long. Um, Are you even confident by because of the situation we're in regarding? I, I think they're gonna have to. I think they're gonna have to now because the way things is and obviously there's a few legal cases going on and stuff. So I think they're gonna have to. So listen, you know, furious coward days are number. But you, you're like the first one of you and Povetkin. We've obviously Joshua's got his fight with Pulev and then Wilder Fury. So. A lot can happen this year to kind of take shape for what happens next year mm. for everyone's careers. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. See, we're boxing, man. It's, it's madness, man. The bit boxing and landscape is madness, bro. I don't... It's, it's mad. That's why I can't sit around and wait. I can't just sit around and wait and think, oh, yeah, I'm waiting for this, I'm waiting. No, you can't do that. It's heavyweight boxing. You can't do You don't know what's going to happen. Hey, oh, oh, yeah, I'm going to say it. I'm going to tell you as soon as you come over. No. I did train this morning and I had media all day but yeah you can never take it for granted man you don't know what's going to happen that's why you have to just keep fighting having good learning fight, fights that you can learn and improve and fights that's going to test you and fights that's going to prepare you and you can't just sit around and wait that's what Stephen did and you saw what happened to him after his two years two years I, I, I ate, I ate this from the ring who did he fight? Derek something. I, was like, I keep forgetting the name. Derek. Derek Rossi? Is that a car driver? No, Derek Rossi is a heavyweight. Yeah, was a heavyweight. He I'm not sure if he's still fighting anymore. Yeah, that's who Stiverne fought. He fought in prize fire, Derek Rossi. Yeah, that's who Stiverne fought. While he was waiting to hear some they just fought him alone. And then the second fight, he just got. It was mud. The second fight, it was like a, a man beating his son. Yeah, it was like a man beating his son. Okay. I don't know. I, I asked. 
I don't know what you can say and what you can't anymore. The world's gone yeah. mad. Yeah, you know. What have you made of um, all this stuff with Daniel Dubois? Who? Hmm? Daniel Dubois. Who's that? Unbeaten heavyweight. Is it? Come on, dude. I don't know who it is. I have no idea who it is. Who are, who's his promoter? Frank Warren. That's why I don't know who he is. Oh, okay. Okay. Is he any good? Yeah, he's pretty good. Oh, okay. How come they never heard of him before? Who is he ranked in the world? Well, I know you have heard of him. I ain't heard of him. But any thoughts on this thing with Daniel Dubois? I don't know the guy. I ain't got no problem with the guy. I don't know. He's not in my way. I'm number one contender for the world title. I'm fighting as an imperfection. Who's this guy fighting? Next. Okay, fair enough. I already heard you talking about him earlier on anyway. I weren't talking about him. <laughs> I heard you. <laughs> no, it wasn't. Sorry. You I heard, heard you, you talking. talking about Frank Warren. I heard you talking about Daniel Dubois earlier on when someone asked you it. It was just, you said, I'll repeat your comment, shall I, as you're uh, in one of them moves. You said, why would I fight Daniel Dubois when I'm mandatory for the I world didn't say that. I didn't say that. That's a lie. I did not say that. You definitely said that in an I interview. Say, show me the interview. I could probably easily get that interview, so get it, If you get it and show me, then I will, I will, I will talk about this, this guy. Okay. Alright, so you, just to clarify, you got no thoughts on Daniel Dubois? I didn't know who the guy is. He's fighting Joe Joyce next. Well, actually, not next. He's got a fight at the end of the month, then he's fighting Joe Joyce. Yeah, who is he fighting before Joe Joyce? Though? I think the opponent has changed. Was he? Whoa, the guy went to find Joe Joyce like, last year? No, April this year. And where are we now? And why ain't the, the fight happening? Well, the fight didn't happen because of the pandemic. Yeah, but there's still fights going on, so why? Yeah, it's happening in October. Why, what, but Joe just was fought the other day. Yeah. Why didn't he just fight then? What? I don't know. I'm not seeing it's just Christian. Well, they're both having a, an interim fight, which Joe Joyce has already had his. He's having his at the end of the month, and then they're going to fight each other in October. Oh, so who is he fighting in the interim? He was fighting the guy, Pfeiffer. Uh, who is he fighting now? I don't know. I've read that that may have changed. Isn't Pfeiffer injured or something? I don't know the situation with Pfeiffer. It's just something I read yesterday. I don't know. I don't know about these guys, man. I don't know. You just focused on you. Yeah. That's it. I got, listen, I got hard work to take care of, man. Linda Pervikin's no joke. And it's very disrespectful for you to overlook someone like that, you know? Dangerous guy. You don't, I don't, you know, you, you don't, overlook anyone you're focused on who you're fighting but you do get obviously morons like me in fight week do ask you about other stuff because it's such a talked about division and there's all these things going on so so you agree you're a moron for this instance i would say yeah so you actually okay I just to make for sure these instances i was going to make sure you agreed to the people who understand that cooking agrees a moron okay yeah move on yeah um what's he saying about what well you think i'm a moron as well doesn't matter what I think. What matters is what you think. <laughs> and you said you was a moron, so you actually said it. So, I, you know. I just mean to be asking you stuff, but this is kind of you. You're used to this. I've just sat, watched you do about ten Zoom interviews, and everyone was talking about the same thing anyway. No one did not ask me about that guy. You asked me about. Yes, they did because I heard no, them didn't. talking about it. No, they didn't. But you're gone. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. That's alright, that's alright. What, um, so what is your, how's your week mapped out now, Wednesday, what? you got a presser Wednesday, and a weigh-in media and all that stuff. I trained this morning, I'm going to train tonight. Then, um, I got press tomorrow. Stage, press right? conference tomorrow, yeah. Tomorrow, press conference, talking, blah, blah, blah. You know, for BC Pivotkin, for... I think it's, I seen him when I came in, and I saw his guys spying him. Um, see him talk up some stuff. Friday weighing, and then Saturday, maximum violence. 
The song? With a bit of technical violence in there too. What does that mean? Yeah, maximum and technical. Oh, yeah, yeah. See? Because maximum is just aggression and rage. But technical violence is aggression and rage with technique and a bit of... A bit of... A bit of, a bit of the old... Um, a bit of the old um, Shazam, Shazam, you know? Like the old... Um, yeah. Is that your Essex accent? Yeah. It's terrible. I'm in Essex now. You are in Essex, yeah, but you're, you you spend time in Essex anyway. You go on. What? Do yours. What, my Essex accent? Better the old arm in it. I'm, I'm yes. doing my Essex accent. What? You don't? What oh, is this? Oh, my Why? Why? Alright, better this in it, better that. Better this and better that. Mm, you know what I mean? <laughs> Let's talk about. Um, you can answer all this in one go. So I'll put it to you. Your training situation, obviously, since the time you left for Portugal. You gotta me. start smoking, bro. That's how you keep coughing like that, bro. All right. Towering up your lung. What, you my dad? No, you you, you become very important to to, pe to a few people now, so, you know, you have to think, you can't be selfish anymore, you know that, right? Yeah, no. Then days is done. All right. So smoking needs to quit in the next few months. Okay. All right, dad. I'm just telling you, you true. know it's, it's fact true. I'm it's saying, true. it's true. It's facts. Um, yeah, your training team and situation changed while you was in Portugal. Yeah. Um, so, obviously you parted ways with Mark Tibbs, um, Dave Caldwell's coming into the corner this week, mm -hmm. which we learnt yesterday, so yeah, who's actually been, Xavier's been yeah, taking the, the he's lead? he's my head coach, he's head my coach. head coach, but you know, he's my head coach. He's very, he's experienced with his levels to everything. Obviously, and um, he made a good point. He said, listen, you're experienced, I'm experienced. We know what we're doing, but it always help having another experienced person at a higher level to, to oversee things. To this. He said, because we're emotionally linked and we, we're charged and we're emotionally involved in the fight. So it's great to have a second person experience that can see stuff that we might see that's like oh mark is his dad so i'm saying you know um floyd mayweather roger and jeff at the same time or senior and and, and floyd at the same senior and, and roger at the same time you know what i mean a lot of these people kind of know of um the you know what i mean mikey garcia them guys have two two coaches in their corner you know what i mean they because sometimes you might not see something that someone else might see and say hey listen when he when he moved into left, he's in this. You know what I mean? It's always good, and that was that was that was Zab's idea. You know, and I was like, you know what? This actually makes sense. So Xavier's idea for yeah, it was. Dave he, 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 yeah, it was a uh, you know, it was, you know. But I know Dave well. It was that his idea to have someone else to help out because it's always good to have a second pair of eyes. That was his thing. At first, I was like, and he said, it's all. He said, listen, let's not be arrogant. It's always good to have a second pair of eyes. You know. And after we talk about it, me and Dave Cardo is cool, we've got a good relationship, we, we've been seeking for a long time. Funny enough, when I beat Brown, Dave Cardo was one of the ones that tweeted and tweeted and tweet and saying, oh, would it be great, I'd love to see Dillian White fight Alexander Povetkin, now he's just knocked out Lucas Brown. What a fight, two years later, the fight's happening and he's in the corner. It's mud or the world works, isn't it? It's mud. You know, I mean, Dave is cool, his experience, he used to help Adam out when David fought. Yeah. He trained Derek for a couple of fights, and he trained. He he chanced on Bellew's career from where Bellew was to where Bellew finished. You yeah. know what I mean? So he's very experienced, and he knows the, he knows the put a good game plan together, and he seems to be very observant as well in the corner and stuff. He's very vocal, and he seems to be a calm man. So experience, experience. You can't buy experience, man. The more experience you have in your corner, the better it is. You know. So yeah. And like I said, many guys cool. We've always had mutual respect and we've always, you know what I mean? So that's like my strength and conditioning team. Ruben Tavares and um, Pete uh, Marciano. You know, um, when he was training David, I used to speak to Ruben because they think, oh, this guy. And then all of a sudden, you know, now me and him training now. You know? A lot, a lot of your current teammates you used to work with Derek, haven't they? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ruben has, isn't he? Yeah. Xavier has, and Dave has. They've oh, all worked with Derek. Shit. Yeah. No, yeah, I'm just have. pointing it out that they've worked. I mean, a they lot have, of, they have, they a have. lot of people. All these guys have worked with other people yeah, anyway. It's heavyweight people. No, I know. It's, yeah. It's boxing. 
no one cries when when you know people leave people you know look how much training the bridge was on this look how much training is um under the year how much training is Joe Joyce had you know it's normal mm -hmm. you know, some you just have relationships man you know your relationship break down move on you know some of them you solve with some you can't solve it it's it goes and if you work for a bank and you can't do a job the bank will get rid of your ass just like that they won't be battling with you at all, you know. If you work at a bank, you can't count or do maths later. But you've got full confidence in your, your team yeah, for this weekend. Yeah, my team's good. Yeah. My team's good. My team's good. My team's good. You know, they got me in good shape. They got me motivated. Training's been good. Everything's been good. My team's good. My team, we're ready. We're ready to go. We're ready to go, you yeah. know. Ready to go. Well, you seem quite relaxed anyway this week. Yeah, I'm you're chilled. Way, you're, this part of the week, most week, most fight camps, you're quiet. Just I'm chilled. just the same as I am, man. I'm just the same as I am. Relaxed, take easy. Few little sessions here and there. Few short explosive sessions. That's it, man. I'm ready to go. Nothing's going to change. All I'm going to do is get worse now instead of better. That's it. Well, do you know previously to this week where I know the exemptions changed regarding quarantine, etc., but... There was going to be a couple of Brits in Chisora and Allen that were going to be sparring with Povetkin. What did mm. you think of that? Did it bother you or Derek not really? Derek is a straight Uncle Tom. Straight Uncle Tom. Derek Chisora is a straight Uncle Tom. That man's a seller. He's a seller. He's a straight seller. There's nothing patriotic about Derek Chisora at Silver. He's a seller. Straight Uncle Tom. He, he, he's a straight Uncle Tom. Straight. Straight sell up that guy, you know. Dave Island, Dave Island, and just Dave is just Dave in it. It's nothing malice, nothing, no malice. What Dave does, Dave does know if he's going or coming. Dave just does his thing in it. Dave does whatever his head tells him to do, whatever he waits on field. Dave's a good guy, I like Dave. I got time for him. Derek, straight Uncle Tom, straight, straight. It would have been a quite mad situation had that panned out with Povetkin here. You here. Well, Derek don't want Derek no smoke here. though. Derek don't want no smoke. Derek don't want no smoke. Derek don't want no smoke. Derek want no smoke. Derek just talk a lot, you know. He doesn't want no smoke. He goes, oh, it's business, bro. It's business, brother. It's business. What? It's just that shit, man. Sick and tired of it, man. Yeah. Hey, who's the donkey now? Yeah. Hello. Go up, Shrek. Okay, okay. Um, have you got anything else you'd like to get off your chest? Let me see. No. Uh, are we going to expect drama on Saturday night? There's all this drama in our fight. I know. It's like Do you get nervous when I get in the ring? Yeah, absolutely. Thoughts on You don't know what's going to happen when I get no. in the ring, is it? Right. It's mad as well, it's like, it's like sometimes you just looked and then I know where to pull out the huh! and then <laughs> and then it's like what? What's that mean? What's the hell? That's, that's when the, the, the big one lands. Oh, the, is that what that is? The huh! Yeah, man, just 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 sit down. Fair enough. And just, 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 out of nowhere, just, just pull it out and man, just sit down. I think this is going to be a dramatic night. Yeah, I, I think so. I, I think, think the whole card. I think across I, I the think, whole card. I think someone might go sleep early, the early doors. You know, if I land the punches, Hunter was landing in the early doors. It's night, night. But if he lands punches at me as well, it could be the same. But hmm, I have secret weapon. What, what is your secret weapon? They all fear this, but they never look out for this. Huh? You see how fast it was. Do you, do you want to get one more quick sparring session in before? Yeah, waste of time, bro. No point in me sparring you, bro. Why? Cause you're a waste of time. What am I gonna spar you for? I might as well go spar a five-year-old kid. <laughs> I might as well spar a five-year-old kid because sparring you is like, ah. Oh. No point in finding. Like, we've had some tough sessions over the years. I know what tough just, sessions? Just tough sessions, I know. Like what? Frustrating, I know. Like what? What sessions are these? 
Well, the sessions were. Well, the only thing tough about is your haircut, bruv. Bruv, let's not talk about that hair. <laughs> <laughs> let's not talk I'm about I'm bringing back the 70s. What are you doing with your hair? Who's cutting your hair? This is the hair boy that's used to fight in the 70s, man. We're not in the 70s. I'm bringing it back straight Joe Frazier. See what Joe Frazier's in the front of my Bring back the Jericho. That's. No. No, no, no. We used to fight at Jerry Curl, um, that guy that Mike Tyson beat up, what's his name? Mitch Green or whatever his name was. Is that his name? You is? should bring that, you should bring that back. That's dead, man. My hair is long, so I can twist it, look how long it is. Let me make it to a show you can see that. Look at that. It's very long. Yeah. Let me just, what kind of juices and berries you got in there, boy? <laughs> <laughs> the microphone. That's what some, some kid says to me, he says, oh, why does he look like a microphone? A little white kid, he goes, oh, what? I was thinking to myself, I'll kick this kid straight in the back. Why does my hair look like a microphone? I was like, Oxy Amada. That's what I said. Why does my hair look like a microphone? Did you have reservations about fighting with Fight Camp? No. I'm a fighter. I, I love fighting, man. I enjoy fighting. It's different. It's different. He brings his pros and his cons, but... Just the whole crowd situation. You fought yeah, in big crowds. Yeah, it before. is. But, but what are you gonna do? Sit around and wait and do it. Wait so all year. There's a crowd man that come back to next year. Nothing's brilliant that you're fighting, and Katie Taylor in person as well. It's, it's a brilliant big card. For it's everyone a big card. You know, Babbage's on there. It's a great card. Tough I, fight for Babbage, Dylan. Yeah, I think it's a good tough fight. I think Chanda Williams is tough. You know, he's got he's got ninety percent knockout ratio, or whatever. Obviously, he's a little bit. You know, obviously, he's a bit older now. But then saying that age don't really mean nothing now. You know, Klitschko went on to whatever. Holyfield went on to whatever. Judge Foreman went on to whatever. You know, um, Pivot came when it looks like he doesn't seem to slow him down. You know? So, let's see. Let's see what happens, you know? Let's see. Let's see what happens. You know, um, I'm just... Um, but it's a good fight for Babbage. Where did he go? Six rounds with Parker? Five. Five rounds with Parker. And Parker... You know, um, former world champion, very tough, very durable. And he was tagging Parker early as well, wasn't he? I to Parker catch up to him. But the thing is, he's not full heavyweight, Shonda Williams. But then Babbage is not a massive heavyweight as well, so it's gonna be, it's gonna be mad. What do you think that's gonna go? I see Allen stopping him in three rounds. That's 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 me. Really? Mm. Three, four Be, make a big statement if he does. Three, four rounds. I didn't stop him. He says like the spars you two have have been like crazy. I didn't off his head, man. Mm. The guy's off his head. He's that real old school Soviet Union guy. He's just yes, champ. I want this guy. I, yes, he goes this champ. I want him. He wants to fight Hergovic. Ah, oh, he would love to fight Hergovic. Croatian. He would love to fight Hergovic. Derby. But Ergovic, Allen's a dangerous Ergovic. Ergovic didn't take the fight. Ergovic didn't play. Ergovic's a coward. Ergovic, Ergovic would you make that fight for Allen if that was offered? If Ergovic won it, he can have it anytime. Tell, tell Nissan and Kali to Allen if they want the smoke. Tell him straight. Well, you would put him in if he comes I'll through Saturday after? I'll put him in straight. If he, he beats this guy, put him in straight October. They can get it. Ergovich, Erkafish, Erkafish can have it. Um, Congo Clay? Clay is gonna get him. In my opinion, I think Chris Congo is the best welterweight in the country. He just, like no one really know about him because he messed about with his career a bit. He haven't really been active, been a bit in, in, inactive and stuff, but I think it will show on Saturday. It may take him a couple of rounds to get going, but once he get going, Clay's gonna get bashed up. But Clay's arm um, is a tough guy as well. Very, very tough fighter. You know, they call him the the kind of boogeyman of the welterweight division. Hmm. He's cried out for a fight like this for a long time. Yo, he, he's, he's gonna get one now. He's gonna get one now that we're gonna see. What do you think how do you see that one going? That's well split, I think. What do you see my fight then? I think you will win. I, 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 I see. Easy kids to Taylor's game. That's mad, isn't it? But this is the, this is a good thing about these cards. All these cards yeah, that you don't 50 50 generally. You, you course, edge towards one. Of course, you're gonna say I'm gonna win because I'm your mate and I'm here. But you know, what I mean, obviously, 
But I know it's a hard fight. Man, there's I mean, other I don't fights. Think it's there's be... other fights I never thought you'd win. Like which fight? No, you didn't tell me that. Uh, Go on, be honest. Tell me, de- tell uh, me not to my face. You think I'm a pussy? You think I'm a punk? I'm the baddest <laughs> fucking man in this room. What? Oh, there's no table for me to throw. I thought you were gonna lose, lose to Parker. No. Revis. No, I thought the Revis fight was a dangerous fight. I didn't think you'd lose to Parker. To be honest with you, there hasn't been many fights that I thought. There Which fight you thought was gonna lose? Thought you're gonna lose. Mm-hmm. No. Tell the truth. Genuine, no. Look in my face and tell me that I'm a pussy. You're a fucking pussy. Oh, whoa. Nice. Yes, go on. Which fight you thought was in this? Oh, I'll be honest with you. I wasn't massively convinced about the Parker fight. I know you wasn't. You're a coward. You're a coward. Why am I a coward? You're a coward. Why am I a coward? Because you're a coward. And there's a few other fights. You're a well. coward. There's a few other fights. You're a well. first class coward. There's a few other fights. You are a coward. Flipping coward. Do, do you want to know some more? I knew, I knew you was you were scared. You thought it was the cu- Parker. You were a coward. I didn't think you was going to Look how Parker. Parker gave Joshua problems. You were a coward. Um, there's a few other fights as well. Which one? <laughs> I'm only I'm you, only you thought it was going to lose to Revis as well. Yeah. I didn't Be think honest. you were going to lose to Revis. Yes. But I did think Revis was a dangerous fight. Like I think Povetkin's a dangerous fight. But people didn't really know who didn't know about Revas were like who's Revas? But people in boxing knew. They mean because Revas the guy don't speak English is not dangerous. No, I thought that was an unnecessary fight for you to take. I think this was this is an unnecessary fight as well. So what would you suggest me to do? Sit around and No, wait? I think you're doing the right thing. I'm just saying, just these fights here. I think when I say unnecessary, there's a compliment in there to you. You shouldn't be taking them, but you are. So when you're going to start lifting some weights, bro. Like you're a big guy, but like you lose weight and you don't lift weight and you just look like one onion. Onion. No, just with layers to peel. You should lift weights. You know what? This is funny, yeah. Because now you're in shape, you can say all these comments. So even when I was fat, I told you the same thing. (laughs) And I'm still fat. (laughs) So (laughs) it's not like I got eight pack or anything. It's about muscle mass and muscle fibers and lifting weights increase your testosterone, which is good for you. Muscle will stop you getting osteoporosis and other things in later life, and oh. it helps with stress as well because lifting heavy weights and release certain endorphins in your body, oh, and it will help with the nicotine cravings as well. Thank you for that advice. Anyway, you're my mate. Look, I tried to give I you. Know. I give you good advice, but you don't listen to me. I do listen. I to actually you. feel it as when you go outside, just punch in the back of the head and just hide you somewhere. Where, bury me under the window. No, just donkey punch you and hide you over there. Donkey punch you, that's sexual. Well, I won't be putting anything in you. If the cap fits. You can spread it. Um, Alright, well listen. Dillian, much appreciate your time as always. And they enjoy my years. whole movie. The movie's finished. Fuck the movie. Sorry. The movie is finished. Everyone's on some edge around you here. Yeah? It's so funny. Why? I'm <laughs> just like, why? I'm such a relaxed just, person though. It's just waiting for that moment. Like, you walk out, you're going to the gym, but Beckham's coming that way. But I'm so, such a nice, chilled person though. You are. I'm so calm and so peaceful. And Tell people, when they watch your fight. Maximum violence. Yeah, what channels? In my channels, Sky Box Office, bro. Yeah, and? And there's on. There's, yeah. there's on. Yeah. What's the date? Tell them the date. 22nd <laughs> August. <laughs> 22nd of August. 22nd of August, see? I said it normally. Why do you. If you started that and then Derek was like, yes, August, August. And Derek thinks Derek was trying to piss out the way I say August. And he. They can't even speak English, prof. The guy don't speak English, prof. It's mad. He was taking the piss out the way I speak. And I was thinking to myself, look at this Uncle Tom trying to say. I was thinking. I was thinking, Uncle Tom must allow it, man. Real Uncle Tom, you know, why is he like that? He's so unpatriotic, that guy, as well. Just this nasty bit of work. Have you seen Django? Yes. He reminded me of that guy. What's the guy? <laughs> What's the guy's name? Um, 
What's the guy's name? Jago Sam. What's his, what his name is? Sam. That's Derek. What, the character that plays Samuel played by Jackson. Samuel Jackson. Yeah. What's his name? Um. That's Derek. Real Uncle Tom. That. All right. Well, listen, Dillian. I'm gonna let you get on. Um, I'm gonna go to sleep. I got maximum violence tonight. Hope you have. Uh, Get out of the ring safe first. This is nice, isn't it? Yeah, it is nice. Good quads. Cool. That's all right. Um, I know for sure you, you're not strange like that, so you can touch my leg. That's all right, no problem. Um, Dillian White, thank you very much for talking to IFL TV. This one is a bit relaxed, isn't it? Yeah, it's this a bit relaxed. This, it's good. This is the most relaxed interview ever, bro. Yeah. Where's the energy? What? Because I got away for five months and the energy is just gone. Can you be in the dead interviews with dead guys? My well, battery's gonna die. Right. No, that's alright. No, it's fine. I was just saying, the energy. Where's our little what? maximum? What? It's relaxed know? because you've turned it relaxed. Mm. You've turned it into a relaxed Should environment. Should I make it be like a Daniel Dubois interview? Um, 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 yeah, well, um. I thought you didn't know who Daniel Dubois was, so you've obviously uh, watched uh, the Yeah, no, 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 I watched ah. Simon AFL, Simon AFL. There you go, there we go, there we go. And he went, um, well, 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 um. Whoa. Stay there, stay there, stay Wouldn't there. Little bit, Joe. Stay there, because I've got to change. Just put the battery back in, picking this back up. Um, do you want to give something away? I ain't got nothing to give away. Give something away. I'll get t shirts Thursday. Will you I'll give, give one away can you Thursday. sign a t-shirt we'll do a competition yeah i'll give one away thursday i'll give one away thursday um what can i give away you in a bag of orange a bag of bananas um it's not me is it it's your fans yeah well, what? i haven't got anything to give away what have i got i get t-shirts and stuff um, all right can we give it to a t-shirt i might get away. some new hats i get some maximum violence hats so hat and a t-shirt no you're, you're a bit greedy eh? Well, ain't for me, it's for your fans, the people that are probably going to buy your pay-per-view, so... so but, but, I don't know, I think you rigged the polls when I send this stuff to yourself, we don't need a fake account. Why do I need to do that, when I get, got these, all these t-shirts, I've got the num-num... Yeah, num. because I look after you, see? I'm a, no, I'm you, a, you don't, BoxFit does. No, I tell them to give it to Boxfit send it to you. BoxFit do it anyway. No, I tell them to send it to you. BoxFit sent me all your colours. I tell them, I tell them you're Box Nation, don't give you any. I've got this one. I've got my own special colours as well, they did me. You ain't even got. See, you can never trust a, a Sri Lankan boy. But I bet you're selling it back home as well. No, I'm just it's birdie num num, but birdie yum yum, birdie yum yum. Do you know what, birdie num num? You should give me a profit out of that. Why? Because it was because of me that that even become a thing. What profit do you want? Jesus, Moses, Musa. <laughs> Which one? <laughs> 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 what profit you want? Tell me. I, 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 you know. Uh, just give me ten percent. No, I give you a profit. <laughs> I give you Muhammad. Prophet Muhammad. You can have him. Nah, just let me come and watch the fight on Saturday. That's all I mean. Bro, you, you're there, bro. You're there. No, they do you know that for me. I said I have to be there. You know, it's I only really do interview with you. Really. I don't really do any. Um, I know mean, you don't do loads, but you never really have. I think press conferences you do what you need yeah, to do. Yeah, yeah, I do, but you know. Keep it. That's all Lyle I am. Loads of people want interviews at the time. I said, no. I give exclusive to IFL. I might just build my, I'm, I'm going to start building my own YouTube channel, though. You already have been. I know, but I only have 20,000 subscribers. Yeah. Tell people like and subscribe. Like and subscribe, please. I want to get as much as IFL so I can make some money. Okay. I'm broke. Are you broke, yeah? Mm, broke. Course. Broke. Course. With my AFL stuff, iFrame stuff. What do you want? I don't know. What, what, you, what you got to give me? We do IFL jock strap. Perfect. Okay. But I need only, I need it, the double no, It comes though. in a medium, that's it. No, no, no. I, I don't have small. And extra right small. I, I have average size things. Yeah. You give bigger one. Very nice, very nice. <laughs> right, have you got anything else you'd like to add? I don't know. You should ask the fans what questions they wanted to ask me. Well, I'll say you should then. Well, I think we've covered most things that the fans have been talking about over the last few weeks. So, have you got anything else you'd like to say or get off your chest? Tyson Fury, don't be a coward. 
Don't vacate and fight me. Fight me next. I guess you're provoking. Fight me next. You can fight December. When does we can fight December? Why not? Well, if the world fight don't happen. Yeah. 19th of December. What about that? Why are they going to fight again? Why are they still busy turking his butt? This is the video of him turking. Yes. The guy has lost his head, bro. Them licks there, that they, the licks that Fury gave him must have been... The feather fist must have been harder than we thought. Because the moment from him, the man from your king is here to twerking. It's mad. The guy. <sighs> Jesus Christ. Why, why, why is he like this? Why is he like this? Has he never twerked? Twerk what? Twerk what? Have you never done it? Oh, what's the guy's name in Django again? I forget. Oh. <coughs> Who are you talking about? Derek. Samuel Jackson's character, is that yes, what you're talking Derek. about? You're talking about the character Derek. he plays and it's called yes. Stephen. Yes. <laughs> Derek, your new name is Stephen. Your name is Stephen. No more Derek, your name is Stephen Cesaro. That's your new name, Stephen. Real Uncle Tom, you know. I don't know, man. So, perfect night for you on Saturday. What is it? Not Povetkin out and then have a rumble with Joshua in the car park. I'm not Povetkin out. Hopefully, he gets home safe. I get home safe. You Absolutely. Know. He just had a new baby. Congratulations to him. God bless him and stuff and whatever. And, um. That's if you fight me in December. That's a perfect night. I don't I'm, think you're going to learn that I'm on Saturday I make night. you cry. No, Tyson. You love Tyson though, really, don't you? Yeah, I know I, you do. Yeah, yeah. I, I like Tyson. You know, there's nothing wrong with I like you, but... Stop trying all, to all do this support, shit. All this support of you and I'd support the pair of you. Don't even start no. this shit. If you and in fact, all this support. He's oh. like, like a film man, like, he's... Um, yeah, but it doesn't matter. I'm not, I don't need to answer this shit. Why? Well, who would you pick out of me and Tyson? Oh, I know who you support, be honest. No, I'd just, listen, I'd support you both. Simple. But we can't both win though. It doesn't matter. Whoever won, won. Whoever lost, lost. That's, you know, that's boxing. But I would support the both of you. Don't start to try and make problems. Why are you like oh, would, you pick, would you pick me or Tyson? Who do you support? Tell me. I'd support the pair of you. You're not going to get a different answer out of me to that. Why? Why? You can be honest with me, you're my mate. I'm honest with you. Who do you support? I fed you in the front row and four, who do you support? I'm not getting involved in this. What? Are you? I Barry and, and, and Frank for who do you support? I'm not getting involved in this. Yeah, if Barry and Frank are at a charity fight, who do you support? I wouldn't support anyone. Why? I'd just, I'd just be thankful if they both come out the ring safe. There you go. Why? I don't have to physically, actively support it, anyone, do I? I no, just don't. be like, come out ring, so best man win. You're moving like Steven. No. You're moving like Steven. No. You're moving like Derek Stevens. <laughs> Steven Sazer. Right, listen. Derek, All right, mate. Thank you very much for your time. Mm, uh, tired, if no. you want one of these, can we give this away? Oh, no way. Well, after you fought in them, obviously. My mum will kill. Why did you give them to your mum? Yeah, she. Mum's got all of my stuff. She didn't even let me take anything to my house, bro. I thought I saw it on eBay. <laughs> <laughs> my mum don't let me take anything to my house. Is that like all my trophies, bill? They suck my mum's. It's good though. It's good Nothing got my house. Nothing. Yeah, but where? Sh what? What? Would you rather have that in your house or in your mum's house? Well, she didn't win it. Oh, that's harsh. She didn't win it. She she showed my things hostage. I tried to take one of my belt last time. You should let you she should fight. Nothing, Everything should go to your mum. Everything. Yeah. She didn't win it. She weren't there when I was getting knocked down in them fights. As if she was at ringside, screaming a, a little heart. Out. All right, we'll, we'll leave the boots for uh, your mother. Yeah, no, my mum will kick off. All right, we really don't want your mum to kick off. Mm. Um, Dillian White, thank you very much for talking to IFL TV. Respect AFL TV, follow and subscribe, Dillian White, 
YouTube channel. <laughs> you guys are really <laughs> tuning to IFL for the exclusive as well, you know, IFL. You you probably the, you're the best um, channel around at the minute, right. ain't you? No, no. Who, who, who else is better than you? There's loads, mate. There's loads. Yeah, you slapped off a bit the last couple of years, to be honest. What are you on about? We've had a we've had a good couple of years apart from the last five months. See? Thank you very much. There you go. Why the last five months? You was, you you was active doing stuff. We was active, but all the Zoom shit. I mean, you must have been tired of doing Zooms. How many Zooms did you do in that time? I've been zooming. Yeah, I bet you have. That's something else. Mm -hmm. Well, all right. Fuck off up my winner bingo now. We're giving away this. Yeah, I'll give this away. Tea pigs. Yeah, this is a quality um peppermint tea, you know. All right. Are you gonna sign it? I'll sign it and give it away. Tea bag. If you want tea bagging by Dillian, tea bagging. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck. Yeah, right over your eyes like that. No, <laughs> no, oh, don't, yeah, don't, like, don't, don't tell me you've done that to anyone. No, no, I haven't that's actually. That's disgusting. If you I haven't that. actually. That's a new one. I'm gonna oh. try that soon. Oh, lay on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> they be tea. Actually, you can see me tea bagging. Oh. <laughs> Thank, All right. thank you very much. I'm for your going time. to sleep. You go to sleep. We'll speak to you soon. Congratulations, no Cillian White, IFL TV. Thank you very much.